Think about your sales team right now. Are they internally motivated or, or are they externally motivated? I mean, what would you hope for in your sales team? Internally motivated sales team or externally motivated sales team? Hi, I'm Tim Kenson. Isn't, isn't the answer really both? I mean, don't we have to create internal motivation in our sales team, but don't we also have to do external motivation? I mean, don't we have to pump guys up? Don't we have to have the rah-rah? I'm here at the University of Texas football stadium, the Longhorns, and you think about their players and you think about their coaches, right? Because we're coaches in the dealership and our salespeople are our players. They create internal motivation Monday through Friday, right? They get the guys good, they train them, they coach them, they develop them and on Saturdays it's all about external motivation it's all about the rah-rah and it's the same thing in a dealership I mean think about that don't we need to create internal motivation on a daily basis you know the the training that we do every single day sitting down with the guys doing one-on-ones when your salespeople when your salespeople start start accomplishing more, when they start selling more, when they start making more money, when their repeat business goes up, when they start getting more referrals because you trained them and you coached them how to execute those skills, now what happens to their internal motivation? I mean, don't they become more internally motivated and they have that self-drive to want to be the best of the best? But even once we create that internal motivation in our salespeople, don't we still have to have external motivation? I mean, don't we need to do the rah-rah, the Newt Rockney pump up, kind of like these coaches do on Saturday morning before the football game starts. They get the guys all fired up. They come running out of the locker room. And look, I know there's a lot of you guys right now that are watching this video saying, you know, I'm not into all that rah-rah crap. I don't really like doing all that. It doesn't last. Okay, you're right. It doesn't last. So does eating and bathing, but we recommend you do it every single day. All right, the, knowing that the external motivation, the pat on the back, the rah-rah wears off, that means you have to do it more often, not less often. I think we forget sometimes how tough salespeople have it, right? The, the further we get away from being on the floor, being a salesperson, the easier it was. We forget that these guys go out and get their teeth kicked in three, four, five times a day, and then they come to the desk and we kick their teeth in some more. Man, pat these guys on the back, make them feel good. Look, sometimes, do you feel like making them feel good? Absolutely not. Do it anyway. That's what these football coaches behind me do on Saturday. They may have a three and out. They're not scoring any touchdowns. Those coaches are the first one to meet them as they come off the field. Man, we're going to get them next time. Come on, we got another. We're going to get back out there. Defense is going to hold them. We're going to get the offense back out. That's the mindset we got to have in a dealership. Always know this, guys. You create internal motivation through training, one-on-ones, goal setting, daily planning. You do external motivation. Once you start focusing on creating internal and do doing external, that's when you're going to see a difference in your team.